My name is uh, Dr. Samuel Opia Churi, Member of Parliament for Kole North and also the Secretary General of Lao Parliamentary Group. I want to first take this opportunity to thank the President for according Honorable Cecilia Ogwal an official burial. To us, she was not just a woman MP for Doholo, we saw her as the MP for Lango. We did not also just see her in Parliament as the MP for Doholo or one constituency, but we saw her as the MP represented in Uganda. So she's a regional icon, she's a national hero to us, and she's an international figure. Therefore, what was best befitting her was an official burial. The program has been shared, which is a seven-day program, which will start with receiving the body on Monday and thereafter having uh, a vigil at a home in Bugolobi, followed by on the second day, Monday, where there will be uh, a special tribute on the floor of Parliament and the body will then lie in state overnight at Parliament. Uh, on Tuesday, which is day three, uh, there will be a church service at All Saints uh, Cathedral, Nakasero, and thereafter the body will then go to Doholo at a dog sub-county. That is her parents' home where she, she grew up and that's where she came out as a very refined politician and one of the greatest, you know, persons in the women's revelation. Uh, that will be the program for, for Tuesday. Uh, then on Wednesday, the program will have um, a session, a joint council sitting at Doholo uh, head, district headquarters, where all the different district councils in Lango and the surrounding areas will come to pay um, their respects uh, uh, to her. The body will then go and spend the night at uh, her home in Lira. We are all aware that she was also the member of parliament for Lira municipality for almost 13 uh, years. And therefore the body will be there uh, in the vigil so that the people of Lira can also have an opportunity to pay their last respects to her. On Thursday, the body will then go for a church service at St. Augustine Cathedral in Lira City. And thereafter, in the afternoon, it will then proceed for a church service at St. Paul, which is in Kole District. And it is at her village home uh, in a church that her and the family uh, built. Uh, that will be the program for, for Thursday. On Friday, there will be another church service at the home itself in Kole in Alito and also another vigil at night. And on Saturday, we'll have now the burial, uh, which will be the time when we shall um, then lay um, our great hero, our national icon, our international figure, uh, Honorable Cecilia Barbara Atim Ogwal, to rest. You can see the huge numbers that have been coming here, and uh, it's quite difficult, but we're praying for God to give us the strength. Uh, that will basically be the program uh, for Monday, uh, for Sunday, and that will be her journey to Bogolobi uh, for the last time. Uh, thereafter, on Tuesday, on Monday, we expect to have the special tribute on the floor of Parliament, um, beginning at midday. That will be after receiving her body at 9 a.m. at Parliament, uh, in which also members of Parliament will have an opportunity to view the body and also give and pay their last respects uh, to her. The body will then lie in state um, overnight in parliament. We expect many members of parliament, members of the public and the family and the clan to be there uh, to stand. It's a difficult time. You all know that she was a very strong legislator. And if there's a place that she loved most was being in the plenary for parliament. And that was her home for almost more than 30 years itself, right from the constituency assembly to her uh, MP ship as, uh, in Lira municipality and also a member of parliament for, for Doholo. Um, then on Wednesday, the body will then move to Doholo via Soroti, where it will be having uh, a vigil. Sorry, on Tuesday, the body will then go to All Saints Church Nakasero, where they're going to have an, a church service. We know that there are so many people who would want to be a part of this and will not be able to be part of the parliamentary process. And therefore on Tuesday, they will be at um, Oil Saints Church Nakasero, where they will then be able to have a church service. From there, the body will depart to go to Doholo uh, via uh, Soroti. And thereafter, there will be a vigil at a dog sub-county in Doholo. That is where um, she, was, she grew up. That was the home where her parents came from. And again, that will be uh, the, the time that uh, the 
people of Doholo will be able to stand firm with their leader, who they have known for very many years itself. Um, the following day, which will be on Wednesday, there will be a joint council sitting. All the district councils in Lango will converge at Doholo district headquarters to have a joint council sitting in which um, they are going to pay the last respects uh, to her. Remember that Honorable Cecilia Ogwal to us was not just the MP for Doholo, we called her the MP for Lango. And that's why we're having this Lango sitting itself, because we knew her as somebody who stood for everyone, irrespective of the shades or color or opinion. You know, she knew no boundaries when it came to development and articulating uh, the issues itself. So that will bring us to the program for Wednesday, which will end with her body going to Lira City, uh, where it will again uh, spend the night. Now we all know that uh, Honorable Sile Ogal, when she was called the Iron Lady at that time, she was the member of parliament for Lira Municipality, a docket she held for about almost 13 years. So we'll also give an opportunity for the people of Lira to pay their final respects to their leader who served them diligently, without fear or favor, with courage, you know, for quite a long time. Um, and thereafter, the following day on Thursday, there will be a church service at um, St. Augustine, Barogole, which is in Lira City. Uh, the body will then leave for Kole in Alito, which will then have another service at St. Paul's um, Archdeaconry Church, uh, which is an Angli Church of Uganda, where again there will be another service. That is a church where she constructed her family, played a very big role in constructing, and again there will be an opportunity for the final respects to be paid there. There will be a night vigil at Kole, uh, at home in Aliro, and then the following day there will be again a church service, that is Friday, plus again um, a night vigil. And then on Saturday will be the day that we shall then lay her to rest at a matrimonial home in Aliru sub-county, Aliru town council um, in Kole district. So it's quite an intensive um, seven-day pro program uh, which has been developed to accommodate uh, every sphere of persons whom uh, she influenced in their lives. And so the people of Doholo, the people of Lira, the people of Kole, Kampala, which represents really the rest of Uganda itself, will have an opportunity to pay those last respects to her. The program that has been developed uh, is an official program from the Parliament of Uganda. And um, it was not just Parliament on its own, but it was in consultation of the members uh, of the family. As you all are aware that Honorable Cecilia Ogwal, as I said, in Lango itself, we did not call her the MP for Doholo. We called her the MP for Lango. Even in Parliament, we did not call her the MP for Doholo. We call her the MP for Uganda. Because she stood and cherished Uganda as a country and defended it even on the international forum itself. So what has come out so far in this program is that we shall continue with the program as proposed. We do not want, and the family uh, as clearly stated, they do not want this burial program, this funeral process, to be politicized. They want to celebrate um, their mother in a dignified way without any political shades. Because every shade of political opinion is mourning her. Different colors, every region is mourning her. It is not only Lango that is mourning her. It is Uganda that is mourning her. It is Africa that is mourning her because she was a champion, an icon for women empowerment in Africa, in different fora, in Caribbean Pacific. She's well known and we're having dignitaries coming from all those different countries itself. So we want to reflect who she was. She was somebody who worked without fear or favor for everyone. And it has been the family's wish that even as she's laid down to rest, She'll be laid down as Honorable Cecilia Ogwal, who stood for everyone, not who stood for just one shade of opinion. She worked with everyone. Despite their political differences, it did not transform into political enmity. Despite their different political disagreements, it did not result into political conflict. And it's the wishes and interests of the family 
that that is respected. So therefore, we want to state that that has not been provided for in the program. The family has come out very strongly to say they don't want this process to be politicized. However, during the church services, during the opportunity to pay tribute, every shade, every color of political dispensation in this country will be accommodated. And that is what the program has been made to do. So the program is to accommodate everyone. And I think that is what is most important at this particular point in time, that consideration uh, is made to respect the family's views, but also to use that platform that has been provided for everyone uh, to make the best use of it itself. We all know, and that is also has been um, um, her wish, you know, she was uh, a member of the Mother's Union, a very strong member, uh, and they put on white, you know, and that is the color that uh, we are also planning, you know, as, as, as both members of the family and also members of the, the public who want to come and stand with her, you know, so we want to respect that. She was white in color. I think that is what we need to understand, even if she may have had shades of different, different colors elsewhere. In her heart, she was white. And we want to ensure that she is buried with that white color without it being stained during this particular time that we are, that we are grieving. Yeah. Thank you.